Hey everybody, Christy Titus here. Thank you for joining me today. And it is whitetail season, so I wanted to share with all of you a few of my favorite items that are sure to go in my pack during tree stand season. So shifting from Western big game hunting into Eastern hunting, Kafaro has gone and created the new Eastern Ruck backpack. Now this backpack isn't just for Eastern hunts. You can also attach it to your traditional frame and actually take it on Western big game hunts and have a full frame pack and be able to pack in and have this lighter option to pack around and use as a day pack. This pack without the pockets is over 2,800 cubic inches. And what I really love about it is Kafaro has designed this pack really for an Eastern hunter with several things in mind. Like one of the first things that's really cool is when I get in the tree stand, I like to take my quiver off my bow. Now this pack has two pockets that are designed where I can take and slip my quiver in and knock one arrow and then I have my quiver handy on either side should I need another arrow. These pockets actually work really great too for slipping in a spotting scope or a tripod on either side as well. So extremely versatile pocket systems. The front pocket of this pack is designed so you can accommodate your screw and tree stand steps. However, really it's just a great pouch for all around storage. So, the other thing this pack features is a sewn-in gravit, which if I'm doing a lot of hiking, I like to take the gravit out of the bottom and actually attach my bow to this bag. It's a great pack, just a little bit over five pounds. It's gonna accommodate all your Western hunts and it's TSA approved. So if you're like me and you're doing a little bit of traveling for your whitetail hunts, this bag actually is TSA carry-on compliant in size. What I put inside my pack, starting with what I'm gonna take a field is, uh, scent elimination spray. Obviously I've treated my clothes so they're as scent free as possible but we tend to pick up a lot of odors along the way. So I always bring a field spray and uh, put it in the pack. There's some really great pouches here for that as well. Um, you can just slip your scent spray in. Make sure you're as scent free as possible before you climb into your stand. The other thing I'm always worried about is my wind checker. With whitetails especially, wind is key. But knowing those slight little shifts in wind at all times is really important. So having a good wind checker, I always have that with me. Before I head in the stand, what I do a lot of times is use either a non-estrus or an estrus doe and rut mist. And what I like to do is spray a couple of spots that I would want a cruising buck to potentially stop and take a pause, allowing me for a shot opportunity in my shooting lane. So these are really great. Uh, the non-estrus I use a lot during preseason as a cover scent. And then the estrus scents I use in specific spots, just in those shooting lanes where I want those bucks to stop, take pause and give me that shot opportunity couple other things. Sometimes I get a little drowsy in the stand. So I like to bring along Wilderness Athlete Energy and Focus. It keeps me really sharp and paying attention. Obviously we don't want to get drowsy in a stand because we might miss an opportunity and it's unsafe. So packing along a Wilderness Athlete is something I never go in the stand without. I also like to carry along an extra set of gloves. I always wear in the field a small thin set of gloves to protect my hands, but I also like to have a heavier waterproof option for those really long cold sits. And the same thing goes with a hand warmer, a little bit of chemical heat system for those times where you get a chill and it's hard to break that chill. Chemical heat's a great way to make your sits a lot more comfortable. Uh, a couple of the last things I want to mention would be an aftermath field dressing kit. This is a go-to for whitetail hunting. You can field dress your deer in the field and have absolutely zero mess on your hands and it has a great organ bag inside where you can store that. For whitetail, I like to carry just a small, simple, like a Buck Knives 110 like this one. It's a little folder. It's been super handy and reliable for me. Couple little miscellaneous items I really don't go anywhere without, and I'll touch on them real quickly. It'd be an extra waist belt for my backpack, a few zip ties, things like orange flagging tape, so if I have a tracking job, I can mark those blood spots so they're easy to see from distance. And then also bring along some batteries. Our range finders when we're bow hunting are extremely critical. And some of our range finders take some really funky batteries that aren't easy to get in small town America or in the woods at all. So make sure you have an extra range finder battery for whatever your system is. And I also bring extra headlamp batteries and AA batteries, uh, some tenacious tape for seam repair, a little bit of duct tape, an extra shoelace, and some basic nylon strapping comes in handy quite often. 
um, basic headlamp, and also a water bottle. Thank you for checking out what's in my pack. Hopefully you guys have learned some new things or found a couple new items you want to include in your next whitetail hunt.